Hey, what's up? This is Miss Cosmo. Welcome to To The Store Up yet again here on the 5FM studios. That's all we do is blaze real dope hip-hop. Got the boys Sugar Smacks as well as JR coming into studio tonight to let me know what's going on with their bromance of theirs. More music coming in from Steche as well as from Smega. The song is Suna Papa, the song is Trusted and you know that's how it is. Sugar Smacks. Yo, brand new Sugar Smacks featuring JR. As he said, it's called Trusted. Go out there, enjoy it, love it, vibe with it. And then Hanging out here on the stir up on 5FM. My name is Miss Cosmo. I did mention a little earlier, I got my boys Sugar Smacks and JR. You guys, geez, you've been making music together for a long time, but you're also then um doing other things on the side as well so i wanted to touch on a couple of other things that you guys are doing on the side smacks yeah mr choir master <laughs> slash tv presenter it is what it is um i love making music you know and um i personally want to make music that people appreciate that i appreciate and i enjoy the same uh -huh. i think that's the key driver more than anything yeah. and and giving people the opportunity to explore the brand in a different way as well you know so being able to do like you know, Clash of the Choirs was a great experience, you know, yes. I think I, I I got a whole new, like, fan base, yes. you know, now when you talk about Sugar Smacks inside your household, like, who called Guaco knows, yes. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who Sugar Smacks is, you know, every opportunity that I, I, I can actually get to expose me to a new market, you know, yeah. And which, which also like, then if they know that part of me, then they get to listen to the music and then, yeah. you know, then we just grow with it. So which is really, really dope. Pleasure. It's nice to see you going back into the TV life because I think if, it's, if anybody remembers, that's where we first saw you. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Dyna no. Dynamite Deep Proof Dude. Ah, way before. Way, way before. Way Good is nice. Exactly, you know. Huh? Eight years old, you know, I've been, I've been at this. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that you didn't take TV as your number one. What made you choose music over TV at that point when you were like, okay, I'm running for this media thing? I'll tell you, it's very simple. I, I was, because uh, I went to art school, you know, and I, I was at uh, NSA and I was a drama student, you know. Mm -hmm. So while I was there and I was studying theater, you know, and then it became a case like then I got the Dynamite Deep Boots thing after doing a couple of other TV shows as well, mm -hmm. even at a young age. And I was like, the whole cut, stop. Act again. I, I couldn't do it like so, yeah you know so so theater was like i get i go there i arrive at that time i do whatever i'm supposed to do in that moment you know yeah. what i'm saying and then i leave you know yeah. so cut stop cut stop wasn't working for me which i think essentially that's what put me off tv mm. but i always enjoyed creating and that's why i like being on stage allows me to live in that moment at the moment ah uh, which makes it so much easier yeah so jay yeah how you doing oh man i'm great it's so um, good to see you like making music again and like well like proper like people i think were just like okay what's he doing he's doing so many things is he back is he not you know what i mean and it was mm -hmm. so good to hear you on the song because people were like jeez man I mean, it's good to hear me, yeah, but it's good to hear me on the whole AKA album. I think, yeah, like, at some point or another, like, um, you know, congratulate the, the know, chorus, all the things like um, the sugar smacks, the trusted, mm -hmm. you know, like a lot of things. But I mean, essentially, I guess, just like making music for myself. Like, yeah. Um, I, I always say, like, being a musician is being able to be selfless and mm. allowing yourself to be able to give a portion of yourself that is the best so other people can become the best, you know? That's true. I always say, like, I experienced the golden years of music. Like, when I came in, like, it was a transition mm. from, like, you know, the old school hip hop mm. into the into new the new school. school. So yes. I got to experience like both things, you know, yeah. like and do shows with like Squatter and uh. do shows with like Amo uh. and not wait for like someone to book Squatter especially. You know what I yes. mean? Like I do a show, Squatter would be doing at the same show and stuff. So for me, I was privileged enough to see that, you know, uh. and privileged enough to see guys like AKA come up, you know. Uh. So I'm I, I get to experience every side. So I guess uh. that's that's the kind and, of the nice side. And actually, uh, not a lot of people know how much of a vital role you actually played in the levels album 
Which is really cool because you were there as part of like the music direction of the entire album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there like obviously like from a producer perspective. But mm. um, um in terms of like kind of, you know, overseeing and just guiding the process, you know, mm. along with Keenan and you know, um and Sticky mm. and you know, just kind of like trying to shape it and make it make sense. You know? Yes. But I mean, you know, the credit has to go to the man himself. Like yeah, he put so much work into it, you know, like he, he put his heart and soul into it. Five FM Miss Cosmo. Ten PM to one AM Okay Jay, outside of the music direction and the music that you've been recording in studio, we're gonna chop the joints just now. You've also got your label happening as well, feel good music. Yeah. Uh huh, and yeah. uh, a couple of your artists. Well, I know I had dropped Younger song last week as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so people are liking what's obviously coming out from him. Yeah. Who else are you gonna sign on? Because you know artists are always hungry. I mean, you know, like we yeah we dropped the Younger single out. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, but I mean, a, a lot of guys who are under you know like feel good like are working you know mm. already been working. Yeah. Um, uh, lunatic beats you know. Yes. Image kara kara passing special look cause. Pretty much the whole know. cash time yeah. lives kinda. <laughs> I mean he public. invented this kinda sound you know what nice. I mean. So yeah. he's been working at it. Um, and you know another another guy who just recently come on you know like for me it's like a privilege to be working with and I'm really 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 eager we just recorded like the single we hope it's going to be the first single mm -hmm. uh flavor as well oh you really know, yeah, that's yeah, so yeah. dope just come on to, i like, was actually so like, for me it's like something i'm really amped about Five FM. Miss Cosmo. 10 p.m to 1 a.m sugar smacks jay i trust it i played that song a couple of weeks ago ah! it was a go trust it sooner papa i dropped last week it was a go ah! trust it <laughs> Um, and you're sounding like, you're sounding so mature. Hey, JR, I can see that Khatalina sound came back on the Suna Papa. You are taking it a little back. Uh, not really. I mean, like, you know what? A lot of guys, like, and I try and preach this all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, when we were doing, we, we, like, Motuako, when, when we do Motuako, like, we refer to the Kwaito era. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then we're mixing the era of Kwaito with the new hip-hop era, we're creating a new sound. You know, so the fact that, like, people are sampling the Kwaito joints, it's nothing new to us. Mm -hmm. We've done the Aha Shams, we've done the Pumas with them mm -hmm. do sampled, and all that stuff. You know what I mean? So, the Konkas and everything and all yeah. those. So, I mean, like, for us, it's just, like, something that is normal, you know? Yeah. So, rap is no longer about that. Rap is now like Zulu guys are rapping in Twana, Twana guys are rapping in Zulu. It's now at the height of like where it'll ever be. 5 FM Miss Cosmo 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Where I think hip hop is, you know, to be honest, like I just think when 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 <laughs> when I was 18 <laughs> and, and we were doing a lot of great moves with squatting camp, it's just a case of <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, no, no. But like, really, it was a time when like Zabs, Tumi, H2O, Amu, yo, every single rapper out there, we were together. When we came back with our first Sama Award, we celebrated that thing like it was. It belonged to hip hop. Yes. It never belonged to an individual. Yes. Like we yeah. got to like the zone in Rosebank. Ramesh and everybody came, grabbed the award, ran with it. <laughs> Everyone taking pictures yes. with it. But we never felt like how far now we're talking about the army because it was ours. That's mm. true, dumb. That's and and That's for true, me, dumb. in in all ones, I think hip hop has come like leaps and bounds to where it is today. But the only thing that is going to kill it is being individual minded. Yeah, you know? That's true. And That's so true. for me, when we see do me in in um, New York, you know mm. what I'm saying? Or we see, uh, I don't know, anybody doing something big anywhere. Well, I'm that right I, here. No, or, or here, <laughs> says Jay. In, uh, when we see Jay in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> <laughs> when we see Jay in Norway, you know what I'm saying? We need to know which he, yo, that's hip hop doing it. So that's I just want to bring the unity back so that, you know, we can all carry each other to be at the places where we need to be so if you're doing big moves but you take everybody with around you. you not even around you you take the whole culture with you yeah it means that someone else is gonna blow up 
And when you need that person, they're going to help you yeah. because yeah, you help true. them. Now, if you're not helping anybody, mm. guess what's going to happen when you need help? Ain't nobody no one's going to help you. And the thing is, like, this is a wheel, man. Like, I was speaking to, I, don't, I can't remember who I was speaking to a couple of days ago. Uh, and, like, we were speaking about, like, the level of, like, fame right now. It's sky high, mm. but the money is rock bottom. Yeah. So it doesn't help me you walking around, like, you know what I mean? Like, you practically number two roses. When I know how much you're taking home, mm. you know what I mean? And together, we could be doing a tour. Mm. And we could be touring this whole country and making, and making more so money. much more. Thank you so much, guys, for coming through. And I, yeah, awesome. I really appreciate the, 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 the music, the innovation, the creativity. Cosmo, show us you supported behind. by dropping the joints in the club. I that's what I want to say to every DJ that's got Suna Papa right now. Drop do. it in the clubs. If you got trusted, drop it in the clubs. You got the all eyes on me, drop it in the clubs. Drop local in the club. You know how it is, Suna Papa, trust it. Go out, get the joints. Download the joints, that's what it's about. Look out for us at a, yo, at a place near you. But most importantly, support the music because it's good music. Jeez, man, the guys can talk. Ah, there was a point where I was like, can I just switch off their mics? <laughs> But uh, I really had a dope time having, hanging out with Sugar Smacks as well as JR. I mean, the amount of knowledge that those two guys have, the amount of experience that they've had within the hip-hop industry. Jay, obviously, he's still a little younger, but he's got so much to give and so much creativity behind the scenes that people didn't know about, which was really cool to actually divulge in tonight, which was um, a little informative, I think, for the listeners as well, which is really cool. Sugar Smacks, seasoned professional, been in this game, the most humble dude I know in hip-hop to Date. I come into the studio every single week for me to just be honest about the music that's coming out um, to support it as well because I think local hip hop has grown so hugely, leaps and bounds to the point where it is today. So for me to support it and for me to be like I am pioneering something homegrown makes it all the more better. Being the voice of hip hop however Look, I say what the people want to hear. I say what the people want to see. I support what the people want to hear. So, if anything, I think the people are the voice and I just deliver the message more than anything. And um, I appreciate the love, I appreciate the support and I think we're all one nation at the end of the day. And just like Smega had said a little bit earlier that when Squatter Camp won that summer, um, the first summer ever, it was everybody's summer. When Kulichana won, best album at the summer awards that was for hip hop do you know what i mean do me going to perform out at the apollo that was for hip hop and i think everything that i'm doing here at 5fm and pushing the local hip hop at 5fm is for hip hop and that's what it stands